<laughs> hey guys and welcome to the old black you didn't know what time it is um, this is part of our celibacy post this time um, if you're new to the channel make sure you like share subscribe for those of you who are returning you ain't got the minerals hey. little black book you know what time it is 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 Listen, um, so today we're talking about celibacy um, and talking about um, pain driving us to sex um, because that's where a lot of people are, 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 are at at the moment. Let me go get water. I think one of the most interesting things I wanted to talk about today was obviously being celibate for the last 19 months or so. Um, and just dealing with a lot of things on my end and having to deal with a lot of painful issues as well Like I said, I will talk about this in, in the near future, but just dealing with a couple of emotional painful issues I realized how dependent I was upon potentially using pain as a measure um, or using pain as my excuse um, or using pain as um, My driving force as to why I go towards sex or I can say that sex becomes my go-to base when I'm in pain because it's a temporary uh, paracetamol for the headache that I'm for the migraine that I'm feeling at the time being what am I saying there's a lot of people out there like myself at a time as well who let's say that for instance when I broke up with my girlfriend last year when I was in pain you know um, if it had not been for God I would have done what I do best which is to run to sex which is to run to other women, um, emotionally avail myself, fornicate, sleep with them, uh, but not commit to a relationship. And I'm very open about it and truthful. I would have told them the very truth in the beginning. But even though I told them the truth, it's not the full truth because really what I want is still sex. Because I, if I have sex, it creates this false narrative, this false um, intimacy um, that is a replica of what I actually genuinely want, which is healing. Because at the moment, I will do anything to take away the pain at the moment. You know, you know when you've got a toothache, um, and you pop, in a par you pop in an ibuprofen, two of them, quick, boom. Within a few minutes, the pain soothes, and you're okay, right? And sex becomes like that paracetamol that you use. You're in pain, and if you've ever had a toothache, it's so bloody painful and sharp, you do anything to turn off that pain. And so we run to sex. Because sex has this power to actually, to almost surrender um, this pain that we have for a time being, um, and actually um, put us somewhere else, let our mind be somewhere else, let our heart be somewhere else, let our soul be somewhere else, let our spirit be somewhere else other than actually existing in that pain. And I know a lot of you understand what I'm talking about, right? Like, so I'm talking about a breakup, but some of you have got daddy issues, mommy issues, your family's just absolute dog doo doo. Um, you know, you've got sibling problems, or you know, you've had um, multiple counterous. Um, problems with males or females in the past and what you found is that now you've lowered your value of yourself and you're so used to pain that now sex is your go-to to actually almost I guess um, heal yourself for the time being temporarily it's become an addiction for you sex and that's where a lot of you are suffering with your celibacy it's not that you don't want to be celibate it's the fact that you're dealing with pain and you're not deep, you're, you're, you're facing pain, but not facing the pain. Meaning that you can see the pain that's right in front of you, but you refuse to fight it. And when I say fight it, not to say that you, you, you know, you, you ignore it or to say that, you know, you, you tussle and wrestle with it. No, actually, it's something that you give to God. You know, some of the pains that some people, some people feel are so deep and they run so deep in us that no man can touch it. No good man can come along and you would respect him. There's no good girl that will come along and you would love her enough. There'll be no good girl that you won't cheat upon. Because that's often where cheating and all the stuff comes from. It comes from pain. And the refusal to accept that you're in pain. Right? Sex is a shard of deep intimacy and we crave it to feel loved, cared for and wanted. It's also a place we can simultaneously hide 
but be seen. You know, sex is a place where you become vulnerable and naked to somebody else. It's the time that you reveal yourself onto another person. But the part that you reveal is not your emotional self or your soul even, but you reveal your body. Because if your body can feel the pleasure, it can temporarily override what's going on in your soul. It's interesting because pain actually drives us to isolation. So sometimes you can feel like, do you know what, you've got 100 friends but still feel lonely. You can be in a room with 100 people and still feel lonely. You can have people calling you and yet you'll say, I still feel lonely, there's nobody that calls me. Why? Because the person that you're wanting to call you doesn't exist. Because what you're actually wanting is something that's going to touch the soul. How can you touch the soul when you're physical? You can't see the soul. You see the effects of the soul in terms of what I'm doing right now, but you can't touch the soul in a sense. And so therefore it's something that requires spirit to override the soul to bring a healing. Hence why sex is spiritual. And hence why sex is um, equated almost to being worshipped in God's eyes. So that's why oftentimes we run to something like sex because it's something that can touch the soul temporarily. That's why you keep running from guy to guy, from girl to girl, right? You need healing. That's why you can't be celibate. A lot of times as well, people are suffering with Bitterness and unforgiveness. Can't forgive somebody. It doesn't have to be a partner, it could be anybody. When you struggle to forgive people, you tend to move with the anger that you're feeling. And the only release is, like I said, through sex. It seems to release you for a time being of the anger that you feel. In fact, you actually exert probably the anger into the sex. Um, and you know what, after you've had it, you're like, you know what, I don't want to see that person again. And you use them, use them, use them toss them away. And this is often guys who normally do this. Um, they're angry at the fact that they can't control their world so they can control a woman. And so therefore they go into sex. And they struggle with abstinence. They struggle with um, being celibate. Because they're angry at something. Maybe mum left. Maybe dad left. Maybe, you know what, they're, they're not financially in the place they want to be in. Which is another point. Another pain is that a lot of people experience is not being where they want to be and not being who they think they should be. According to what the world says. Because there are standards that the world has set in terms of at 21 you should have this job, at 21 you should have a car, at 21 you should have a house. Now there's a, a, a whole bunch of expectations that are upon your neck and because you're not able to achieve that at that time, there's a pain that settles in, there's, a, there's an embarrassment that settles in and what you do, you seek places where you will be valued. And oftentimes that's not in a relationship necessarily, but in the sex. Mm. See, I've been there, I know. And I've mentioned some various different types of pains and stuff like that, but sometimes people are not even sure where the pain's coming from. Sometimes when I think about certain situations, like for instance, why do I go to sex potentially? Why do I lean towards sex? I realize that I love making someone feel happy. So I'm quite unselfish in the sex department. I want to please you. But where does that actually come from? Maybe I'm, I'm a kind-hearted person, but maybe also at the same time, I feel like if I'm doing that, that's what I want others to do for me. I wish that people would do that for me. Not the sex part, but in terms of putting me first. But it seems I'm always putting people first, so it becomes a pain in the sense that I know that you want people won't put me first, but I'll put other people first and hope that one day someone will put me first. So you give yourself to somebody. It's not why some of the girls are in the situation they're in right now. You wish that somebody would put you first. You wish somebody would take care of you. You wish somebody would, you know, actually care about your feelings. You wish somebody would love you the way that you want to be loved and the way that you love other people. And so you give your body. Because you're hoping that as you do that, the person will respect you and love you and care for you the way that you love other people. And yet you find out that's not the truth. It's not like, it's not like you don't respect yourself. It's not that at all. You respect yourself, you're just in pain. It's tough. A failure to deal with pain always causes a rot and a decay. And that's why I said about the toothache. You know, a toothache doesn't happen overnight. It's a continuous process of 
sugar to the tooth and when it comes to relationships you've probably been hit so many times you didn't realize you've been hit that many times that at a point you break and then the pain seeps in and it becomes almost part of you and because it becomes part of you it becomes also part of your behavior to do whatever you can to stop the throbbing to ebb the flow and I was just looking at it, I was like, yo, I've been celibate for 19 months, guys. And if it had not been for God, this is why I always put it back to God, because my natural reaction, I came across so many girls this year, very lovely women. Um, but the one thing that was always in the back of my mind is I don't want to drag nobody to a place of pain that I'm feeling. It's so painful where I am, I don't want to drag anybody to that place if if I can, if I, if I can stop a person getting drugged to that place, I will. And if that means I have to concede and not be a dickhead, yes, I will do that. Why? Because I don't want to feel the way that I felt. I respect. I, I want someone to treat me the way I, w I would treat them. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's the way I looked at it and I was like, okay, cool. That's probably the reason why like the 19 month celibate is very difficult. Uh, it's been difficult, but that's also why for a lot of people, celibacy is so difficult. Because they're not sure why they desire sex. They're not sure why they always want to have sex. But they know this, that yes, yeah, sex is pleasurable and it's nice. But guess to a point where you're like, fam, is that all they want? They just want me for my body. It's not a good look. So yeah, guys, that was just a short, short, short talk about celibacy and dealing with pain. Um, if you're a person who's dealing with pain at the moment, can we just pray? Um, I want to pray with you to say, look, Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus, oh God, that those who are watching, oh God, let them be blessed. And I just pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that, Lord, the pain that they're facing, let them give it on to you. And that's what we sing. I give it all to you, Jesus. I give it all to you. And then we sing, I surrender all to you. Everything I give, I give to you, yes. Holding nothing. What are we holding? Nothing, Lord, because, Lord, we want to give it all to you tonight. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that anybody watching this, oh God, that the pain that they're feeling, Father, release it in the name of Jesus onto you. But the Bible says, cast your burdens onto Jesus, for he cares for you. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, let them cast their burdens onto you, Lord. Let them not withhold it in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let them be blessed in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let them surrender unto you in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let them be loved by you in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let them sh see that your mercy and grace continue to flow in Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Guys, thank you for watching our celibacy video. If you have any requests, let us know down in the comment section. Um, comment down below, let us know your thoughts in terms of what I spoke about today. Have you felt like you're in a place of pain? Um, what was causing your pain? Um, and, you know, uh, let us know down below and hopefully we can have a little discussion and hopefully we can help uh, by grace of God get you to a place where pain is not dictating your actions um, you know and uh, we can move forward from that so Father we thank you in the name of Jesus for those who are watching thank you so much celebrity 2019 we go on we move we do I appreciate you stay blessed a lot stay loaded